Alrighty, guys. So it is the COVID same. Spelled backwards is Devok. I don't know what the hell. What Devok is going on? I don't know what the fuck she's talking about. Excuse her. But anyways, so we posted this bike today, and we already got numerous offers. Um, I got some dude hit me up who said 2250 or was it 20? Yeah, 2250 or something. Another dude said 22. Another guy said 2350. I posted it for 2700. I know that seems like a lot, but it is a 01 CR125. Supposedly these are the best year for the motor. Um, because I can. Can't. This FMF pipe is spotless. She'll be fine. Just threw a massive pillow in the dry in the washer. Uh, we got a new rear tire on here, the FMF Shorty. The forks were just rebuilt. We got the title. Kickstart's first kick. Just did a carb clean the other day. Changed the oil. Uh, dialed her in with the air screw there. Nice and fast. She's got a good power band. Um, clean the air filter. So yeah, ready to go. Yeah, have any thoughts? No. You definitely don't. I can just tell by the look on your face. <laughs> Oh, I put this restyle front fender on. You guys saw that. I did that in... Did I do that in the video? I'm not really sure, but looks absolutely sweet either way. Some downfalls... It's okay. Some downfalls, um, these wheels were painted, I can tell. Um, Good thing he's coming tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I've only had this thing running for like three days. It's a blast. I wanted to actually get a GoPro video of me riding it for you guys because it's... I love the 125s, but... Um, you know, I didn't expect to sell it tonight, and we already got some guy on our way, on his way, excuse me. So, um, maybe this is the last you guys see this bike. Actually, so, so he was supposed to come with 2350. Some guy just offered me 2400. So, I'm still going to take the 2350, but if he tries to negotiate with me, uh, we're still going to have this bike in about an hour. So, actually about like 15 minutes, because he's almost here. So, let me roll this thing out, and, uh... Say goodbye. Oh. Oh. So we sold it. Some nice kids, but the fucking kids sitting there holding the thing wide open. It's like 9 o'clock, mind you. Is it 9? Maybe 9.30? No, it's, it's 9.27. Yeah, 9.30 at night. Kids fucking what? That thing's so loud. <laughs> I'm like, that thing's gonna fucking blow up, dude. I didn't say anything, but I'm like, shit. I would have been pissed if Andrew it goes blew like it up. Andrew goes, the kid goes, hi, nice to meet you. Andrew goes, crunch. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, I always forget. I go into the handshake and I'm like, fuck. Psych. So yeah, we got the 2350. I think it was a good flip. We got, um, I mean, we bought the two bikes, that one and the KLX 110 that we uh, we traded for another CR125. We got the both of those two for 15.50. We just sold that bike alone for um, 23.50. So, we locked this door. We'll wrap it up for the night. Uh, successful day. Alrighty, guys. So it looks like we're going to sell the KLX 140 today. I posted it yesterday. You can see there, it's leaking a little bit of gas all over the, all over the garage floor. Um, as we know, it's got this FMF. I put these side panels on because they were missing. Put a new battery in. It likes when I give it the gas and the choke. Honestly, it doesn't run the best. Uh, the float height sticks a little bit sometimes, that's why the gas is leaking. What else do we got? Um, what the heck was wrong with this thing? Oh, it idles really low when you turn the choke off, which is super annoying. Our front brake doesn't work at all here because the line is leaking down bottom here when you put fluid in it. So there's probably like no fluid in here. But anyways, um, some guy's coming to look at it. I posted it for 1800 Don't expect to get that. Expect to get like 1500 I actually have a lot of interest, surprisingly. You know, it's, it's still a 2014, even though it's kind of a pile. It's still a 2014 KX 140, and it's the L, so. Also, this plastic is kind of cracked over here. Um, so, could probably use a little bit of carb work and uh, other few small things, but. Um, 
seems like a good bike. Some guy, so he, this guy's bringing a dirt bike also to see, um, it's a DRZ 125. 2008 he said he was out at a thousand cash I'm like dude that's kind of a lot so I told him to bring that and um, we're gonna decide whether just cash or the DRZ and cash um, based on some judgment after we see the bike probably lean towards just cash and that's the bikes in really good shape and he's giving me a really good offer for that so um, I'm gonna push this bike out and uh, we'll say goodbye to our baby, just kidding. Alrighty guys, so update time. Um, so the dudes came and uh, they were gonna give me 1550 cash for the KLX 140L. Um, I had all the money and stuff and I was just, he brought the, the DRZ that I was telling you guys about. And um, <clears throat> I was like, so how much would you add 07 DRZ with blue plastics, kind of beat up. Um, and he was like, he was like, just give me 500 for the DRZ. So he gave me 1550. He wanted 500 back, so that would mean I get a thousand still, 1050, and keep the DRZ. So I decided that that was the better deal, rather than uh, just the 1550. This bike is beat up, guys. It's really beat up. I think it's the blue that really shows in the plastics. Like, oh, it just looks awful. Look at this. But if I put some heat to this, I think this thing will clean up, get this ugly number off. Um, kind of just work on some odds and ends. It has ATV bars on it, so that's interesting. Uh, they kind of sit weird. I'm going to have to tilt them back. I think they'll be fine, but I'll have to tilt them back because they sit kind of funny on there. Uh, we got a broken brake lever, which he, he gave me. And here's the real issue. Um, so we have our chain right here. That's no good. Um, so he attempted to take this back sprocket off. And I guess he couldn't get it out. So he's banging it. And um, he kind of cupped the edge here. So I can't put the castle nut back around. Also our hub is kind of busted up here. So I think it's missing a spoke. These bikes are actually known to have weak, like, weak hubs and wheels. I've had two of these bikes. One of them, the first one, the front wheel had a huge bend in it. So it was, um, it would kind of thump, 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 thump when you ride it. The second one, what was the second one? Um, I got it with actually a broken rear wheel, which I still have outside. Completely broken. So I had to basically throw a makeshift wheel on there. Um, it wasn't the right size and it was a complete pain so I guess the DRZs are known to have bad wheels or at least from my experience I should say this is the third one I have with a bad wheel all DRZ 125s so I think those are the only bikes I've ever had with a bad wheel too so anyways we got some frame wear she's beat up but we'll clean her up runs good I'll uh, see if she starts right up Gonna keep it running for long because I have no ventilation in here, but I think she'll clean up. The seat is really nice, I like that. Tires look decent. So we have a good platform, just uh need some odds and ends. This this it's definitely taking a beating, but um you know I think we could get a thousand bucks for this bike or something, so if we do some more work. If we do some work to it. So uh then I would be getting two thousand for the two thousand fifty dollars for the KLX one forty. Technically, if I were to, if I were able to get a thousand bucks for this thing, rather than just that fifteen fifty, so I basically just took a risk on this thing. I did put it in gear and make sure it goes with this chain as it is. Um, it does go. The clutch is good and all that stuff. So, um, like I said, we got a good platform. So along with this bike, we have another story for today. Let's see. Take y'all on outside. Uh, so this KFX 90, basically uh, somebody came and checked it out a little while ago and it wouldn't start. Pain in the ass. Um, this bike has a bad pet cock. So basically I've just been putting gas in it and then, uh, um, you know, you don't want to put too much gas in it though. Because it'll all leak out of the pet cock here. 
So it really needs a new one. That one's all beat up in there, but. Um, so the quad wouldn't start. And then I put more gas in it when he leaves and it starts right up and I was riding it all around the yard. So he was gonna give me 1200 bucks. I have it listed for 14. But uh, we'll just have to wait until another day for that one. I did message him and I was like, hey, if you still wanna check it out, it runs good. He's like, yeah, I don't really wanna work on something. So I'm like, why do you come check it out in the first place? Because my ad said that it needed petcock work, so, or a new, a new petcock altogether. So anyways, 